experience of having the training with the simulator was amazing. I thought it was, you know, very successful way to prepare for M6 because it, it broke down every single detail. They're, they're from here to here that you don't have any connection. So let's try one more time. The simulator does a great job evaluating the key points to each step. And um, it's great to be able to have the repetition of doing it over and over, having a second try or a third try on certain steps. And um, just also just having that repetition and seeing it visually, how uh, the ideal incision or the ideal tunnel looks and the dimensions and seeing an overlay on the eye is very helpful. Get it a little bit deeper is just when you go to the right, move the eyeball to the left, mm -hmm. and then that turning will get it deeper. When you go this way, move it to the right. As a resident, the only thing I've been exposed to at this point is FACO. And so transitioning to M6, in my mind, has been a pretty, pretty big thing, but the simulator has really helped bridge that gap pretty easily. The simulator is awesome. It really is. It gives very good feedback, visual, tactile, and also, as well as performance feedback. I think one of the best things about the Help Me See program is that there is instructor-led simulation. So you're not just there at a machine by yourself getting feedback from a machine. You're actually getting feedback from an expert M6 surgeon right there with you in the room. And that, I think, has been the absolute game changer for this simulation training. My training finished 10 days before I was operating in Liberia. Uh, the proximity of that timing was great. Because of the pandemic, it had been over two and a half years since I had done M6. But after the simulator training, I had fewer complications. Now, some of that's due to the grace of God and lots of prayer and having patience without pathology and weak zonules, but I know the simulator made a difference. Any um, success, I have to attribute a lot of that to what I was able to experience in the simulator. On, on my first attempt, I will say, for example, the resistance that the simulator sclera had taught me how to find and feel that same resistance in the sclera, the, 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 the same feel that you get whenever you enter into the eye and, and go from sclera to cornea. I, I knew to look for and to feel for that transition. Um, the resistance that you get whenever you're elongating the tunnel, uh, I felt that as well. All in all, I'm very, very thankful for the opportunity I had. Having the simulator training was so helpful for me. I actually felt better prepared than when I had gone before two and a half years prior.